Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the Max Factory Figma male swimsuit and female swimsuit bodies review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends. Imports. Many make the I'm fucking with. High beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs. Don't know about. So a quick look at these boxes, very slim boxes. You can see a picture of the male figure on that side. Another picture of him says Figma Max Factory, Masaki Apsi Action Figure Series. This says Ryo or Rio. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And the uh, female's name is Emily. So <laughs> there's that. Same thing on both sides. Let's get these open. See what's what. All right, so this will be casual and quick. I picked these two up just for the bodies. I could care less about these head sculpts. You know, they're very anime-esque, and I really want something a little more realistic or a little more Western, I guess you could say. Um, and these were cheap as well. Uh, I couldn't tell you anything about the anime that they come from or if they come from an anime. Don't start me to lying. Like I said, I just wanted these for the bodies, just for world building, just for swapping and kit bashing and what have you. And they're pretty good. Pretty, pretty much what I expected. They are um, smaller and slender than some other imports. And they seem to be teenagers or kids. I don't think they're supposed to be full grown adults here. Uh, you know, they look adolescent to me. So let's move through what they have and do some swaps and I'll get you out of here. So straight out of the package, this is how the male figure looks. Aqua blue trunks, two fists, pretty standard articulation for Figma. You'll get a decent range. Head will look down. Uh, it'll look up just about that far before it starts to look a little weird there with the neck. But you can turn left to right, do a pivot. It's a decent range of motion on the head uh, with the exception of going back. Shoulders on a ball joint, they're going to come up pretty far. You could do a full 360. There is a slight butterfly joint in there. You can rotate at the upper shoulder. You get uh, more than 90 degrees on the elbow, swivel and hinge on the wrist, some upper torso articulation, not as much as I would like. A little bit at the lower abdomen. You can turn them left to right there. Legs will come up pretty far. You can get a decent split. There is some upper thigh rotation. Uh, there is a double jointed knee. I guess you can consider that double jointed, but it doesn't go as far back as you would expect. It is hindered a little bit here by the uh, bottom of his trunks. Actually, this is a harder plastic, so it's not. There's really no give there. There's a decent hinge on the foot, a pivot, swivel, toe joint. So decent articulation. No, it's going to be the same for the male and the female. And then he comes with some extra hands that I'm not going to swap every hand out. But you can see uh, two hands that are open with the fingers spread, two hands that are open but cupped. Looks like he can hold something with those and two that are open with the fingers not as spread as this first two. So that's what you get for this guy. As for the female, straight out of the package, she has two hands that are open with the fingers spread. She has a bit more articulation in certain areas. You still do get the waist swivel here. And um, I guess you get a little bit more at the lower abdomen on the male than, than the female. Uh, but her knee uh, gets the full bend because she doesn't have anything hindering there. So, uh, And then also with the legs, uh, being that it's just a little bikini here, I guess you do get a bit more uh, articulation. She's also packed in with some extra hands. Different from the male though. So she's got these two that are cupped. Uh, these look like complete fist. And then these are sort of like relaxed open hands that have some of the fingers uh, together. So that's what you get for these two. Let's uh, look at some swaps and then I'll probably try to set something up display wise. Looking at some size comparisons with other Figma figures. So on the far left is the Super Sonico figure, which I've used a lot in displays by just swapping out her head. Cause again, she has a very anime-ish uh, face as well. And those headphones are attached to that head. So. I've done plenty of swaps to make her just some voluptuous woman in a, in a swimsuit. And you can see how those two stack up with what I believe is some young uh, preteen or teenage body in comparison to the supersonico body. But they are about the same height. Uh, and then on the far right is the Figma Lonely Gourmet, which is one of the tallest uh, Figma figures that I have. Uh, in fact, he's even taller than 
the average uh, Marvel legend in a suit. So he's a pretty tall dude. And it should be noted that um, right out of the package, uh, the female's little bow, her little tie here uh, for the bikini uh, fell off. So uh, let it be known that Mafex uh, is not the only uh, company that has quality control issues. Oftentimes Figma has QC issues as well. So none of the import companies are um, immune from that type of problem. But I was a little more annoyed with the Mafex Raz Al Ghul. I think that was a bigger issue than this little bow here. Uh, I could easily glue that back on. And there's some more Figma figures with the Figma Twilight Princess Zelda or Twilight Princess or whatever she is. And Figma Link, this was the second one that they released again from the Twilight Princess uh, game. And uh, ironically, Link and uh, the male swimmer are just about the same size. And I actually try to swap with those already. I'll show you in a second. And then I already had Spider-Man out from my display from last night. But I thought I'd uh, show him here because he was about the same size as all of these folks. And here's a look at how this will swap out. You should keep the peg inside the head. And this will come out the same way here. So you can do... An even swap. So there's that. And there's that. Skin tones almost match up. So if you want to have a little fun with that. Have Link in a swimsuit. I suppose you could. And the same deal with the princess. So that does work. The skin tones are not quite the same. But you can fudge it. And vice versa. <laughs> This is the Mafex uh, Tech Suit Spider-Man unmasked head right here. And that doesn't work because there's no neck peg for one to even elevate the head where it looks halfway decent. But he looks like he was born with some sort of odd deformity or something. So that doesn't work. And there's a look at the Figma Samus uh, head, which looks okay. You could fudge that. The skin tones look uh, close enough. So no issues there, but you can see that um, she is a little taller though. Samus is a little taller, um, but again, it can still work. And there's the Figma Ghost in the Shell chick, Kusanaga Moto, Motoko, something like that. Uh, but that works too. And you can see how those bodies stack up. So those are about the same size. Hold on. Yeah, these are about the same size here so yeah you can fudge that now, I just noticed that the female doesn't have the uh, toe joint like the male and it should be noted that um, they both come with stands all Figma figures come with stands and I'm not doing no more swaps y'all can see the swaps in my videos and on Instagram so I'm moving forward alright I kinda went off the rails here I'm not even highlighting it <laughs> The two figures like that, but I left the heads as is and I didn't um, and just kind of covered their faces for the most part here. But I got the Figma Deadpool paired up with the Figma swimmers here. Looks like he's running from uh, the SH figure watch Thanos back there coming through a portal. And I think I'll flesh this out a bit more uh, for Instagram or for the Facebook group or what have you. But uh, both of these together ran me about 70 bucks shipped or something like that. Maybe a little over 70 bucks. So I guess about 30 something dollars a piece. So for that, I think it's worth it, especially for you to do some swaps and uh, maybe uh, some future things that you may get as far as head sculpts will work as well i haven't really gone through the gamut of different figma figures that i have for swaps uh, you can also actually remove the front uh, hair piece and remove the face plate and change out the face plate with other figmas if they fit uh, so you do have quite a few options this is a set or a duo that i would recommend it's not really a set you got to buy them separately but i would recommend that you pick it up if you are uh, a heavy uh, toy photography enthusiast and you like to do a lot of kit bashes and stuff like that but um you know it's not something absolutely mandatory unless you are a fan of these characters uh but yeah thanks for hanging out as always rate comment and subscribe and until next time peace